It's all about Halloween whimsy today. I hope you'll join me. Hi, my name is Becca and welcome to my channel. Over the last few weeks, I've been decorating our home for fall and I'm looking forward to sharing my fall home tour next week. However, I didn't add anything for Halloween. So we're down here in the basement today where I'll be decorating a festive Halloween tree and adding just a little bit of decor around the room. Nothing gory or scary, just more on the fun, whimsical side for the holiday. Now I only have one bin full of Halloween goodies, like these tall stems embellished with glittery bats, other stems full of candy corn, a few spiders, and some ghosts. Recent finds are the jack-o'-lantern ornaments and ribbon from Michaels. These cute houses are from the Dollar Tree. They were natural when I bought them, so I gave them a quick coat of spray paint. The ghosts are from Michaels, and the candy corn picks are from the Dollar Tree. While the striped ribbon I just showed you is new, these are from last year. I think I'm gonna use them again. I love the vintage look. I love the gray in that ribbon that will go with the gray in the rug. And you can never go wrong with a classic plaid. Here's the tree I will be decorating today. Please ignore the lights. I know they look really bad. I promise I will fix them as I decorate the tree. I will also link this below in case you've been looking for a super budget friendly tree too. Let's decorate this in super fast time. First thing I do is add my topper. I do it this way because I'm usually just shoving things down into the tree and I don't wanna run the risk of knocking any ornaments or ribbon off. Now I'm just adding ornaments deep inside the tree just to give it a bit of dimension. Time for ribbon. I add one end into the tree, make a loop, tie a branch around it, a loop, and I do it all the way down and around the tree. Now I'm just adding more picks and ornaments. I like to do it in a diagonal pattern when I can down and around the tree. Time for the houses. They are such a great filler. Again, you can see me going in a diagonal pattern with one right in the middle. I really like how the white words contrast against all of the black. I'm going to add a few finishing touches and we'll be back with the final look. Say hello to Miss Beatrice. She has her fancy hat on and is here to welcome you. She just finished carving her pumpkin and is sitting right at the top of the tree. She's surrounded by the Halloween stems I shared earlier, the glittery bats and the candy corn. Later adding in a few of the floral or daintier picks along with the faux trick-or-treat cookie ones. I have one on this side, and for balance, one over there as well. The little ghost picks are so cute, as are the little candy pieces. And for fun, I even added in some disco ball ornaments. These are always fun to add to a tree. I like how they reflect the natural light, as well as the tree lights. And I like to do them in a diagonal pattern, once again, down and around the tree. Next year, I'll be sure to add glitter or another color to the houses, just so they pop a little bit better. I know I mentioned them before, but I love how the words are a great contrast with the tree, and they're also a really good filler. Ribbon is also a great filler. After I was done decorating, I felt like it was just missing something. So see how I have the layered ribbons there? I decided to add the plaid ribbon right in between. And then I added the cute little cat and mouse and a few more mice over on the steps. Again, it's all about the whimsy. Now that the tree is done, let's focus on this wall. Love the shelves, but I'm gonna take them down. They're just too easily accessible for the kitties and I don't want them to get hurt. So. Let's try something else instead. All right, shelves are gone. Mirror is up in their place. I do like this look a bit better and especially how the mirror helps to reflect the light around this often dark space. And then for Halloween, just adhere the little bats to the wall. 
Some of them are looking a little rough. I've had them for quite a few years, so I'm hoping they hang in there for a few more years. Have them on both sides of the mirror and one felt one right in the middle. I then added the little owls, the trees, and right in the middle, we've got popcorn and candy corn. Gotta have that sweet and salty. And over here where little Ivy's watching the rainfall, layer this black and white buffalo check fabric from Ikea right in front of the white curtains that we always have here. Just clip them on up at the top. From the curtains, we go to this wall. Looking not as summery as it did not too long ago. This is where the mirror was. Replaced it with this oversized clock that was in another room and then just added a little bat. And on either side, added these light sconces. I will share a link, they are super affordable. You can hardwire them, but I opted not to do that. I cut the wires off and just mounted a little battery operated tea light there instead. You can't see the tea lights flickering very well right now, only because of the lamps that are on down below. Speaking of the lamps, just layered the spiders directly to the shades and then added the pumpkins up inside of the lamps resting them both on these plastic spiderweb plates. Let's chat pillows. The black and white pillow covers I added on each end are from Ikea. The pumpkin pillow is from Walmart. And I really like how the buffalo check ties in with the curtains. And then the happy Halloween pillow is from HomeGoods. On the coffee table is a woven tray, pitcher filled with fall stems, a simple lantern, pumpkin, and leftover buffalo check fabric. The love seats have the pillows that match those on the sofa just to tie it all together. On this wall, you'll find a mirror with a little bat, a festive jack-o'-lantern, oversized lanterns I found at Pier 1 a bazillion years ago, and more spiders. For symmetry on each side of this piece, I have companion prints, peg racks, and matching rusty orange and black and white throws. Last thing I'll chat about is this wall where we have our Billy bookcases that I still need to add molding and trim to. They're from Ikea. For Halloween, added matching pumpkin lanterns, bat ribbon around one of our glass bottles, and to complement that, hot glued this bat to a glass base. And of course, had to add another spider. I think the garland is from Walmart. And of course, I love that the buffalo check ties in with those other accents around the room.
Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I'll be back next week to share our official fall home tour. I hope you'll join me then. And I also hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. Have a great week and I'll see you next time.